Hi, this is Lee. Most DSLRs take one of two different types of memory cards. Compact flash cards and SD cards. Some cameras even have the capacity to hold two cards. But the D300S is special because it holds one of each type of card, which I think is special for that camera because I don't think there's any other cameras on the market right now that do that. You're probably thinking, what's the big deal? Why do you need two different types of cards? Why not just get one type of card? No big deal, you still have the capacity, right? Well, let me tell you a story. I was shooting a sporting event a few weeks ago and I was um, working for a photography company. And they had originally given me an SD card to shoot with and everything was going well until I ran out of space on the card. Normally this isn't a big deal because they'll just hand you another one. But that day, they were out of SD cards. All they had left were compact flash cards. And I said, that's okay, I can hold that too. And they were astounded, and it really kind of saved the day because I was able to keep shooting for a few more hours. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert the memory cards, which is pretty standard on most DSLR cameras. And then I'm also going to show you how the D300S has options as to writing to those cards. Let's take a look on my camera. Now we're looking at the back of my D300S. To load the memory cards, you open up the door that's on the side of the camera, and you see that there is a compact flash card, as well as an SD card. And not too much exciting there. Pretty much the same on, on most DSLR cameras. Next, let's take a look at the menus to see how we can customize how the camera writes to these cards. First, you'll go to your shooting menu, and you'll go down to primary slot selection. This is the option that um, you can choose which card is written to first. Um, pretty obvious primary card selection, right? Uh, I have my camera set on the SD card being the first card that the camera writes to. The option underneath that is secondary slot function. If we go there, you see that we have three options. We have overflow, backup, and raw primary JPEG secondary. Overflow is where the camera will write to your primary card first, and then when that card is full, it'll just start writing to the secondary card. That's pretty handy when you're in the situation where you just don't have to think about um, running out of space on your cards. Backup is your next option. On backup, you can have the camera write to both cards at the same time. This is pretty handy when you want that um, extra assurance that your pictures are going to be recorded. If you have any, any inkling that your um, that your memory card might fail um, this way, you aren't going to think about it. You know that your pictures are going to be recorded on one or the other card because, well, it's pretty unlikely that both of your cards will fail, right? Next, you have raw primary JPEG secondary. That's pretty obvious too. Your uh, raw files will be written to the primary card that you've selected and then a copy of those in JPEG form will be written to the second card. And that's it. I typically keep my camera on overflow just because I'm fairly certain that I'm not going to run um, out of, or I'm fairly certain that my cards are not going to fail on me. But, you know, if I ever do want to make sure that the pictures that I'm taking are being recorded, like if I'm shooting a wedding or, or some important event, um, I will switch it to backup, just, just to be sure. I love that my D300S holds two different types of memory cards. The way I see it, if I'm going to have a camera that has the capacity for two cards, I may as well have one that has the functionality to hold either type of card, because it really has saved the day for me once already. Now, if your camera holds two, type, two memory cards, even if it is the same type, it probably has options similar to the D300S in how the camera will write to the cards. So take a look in your menus and see. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know.